Hi guys, today we're going to be discussing the Describe hot map. The hot map is used to break down a topic, a thing, a person perhaps, using adjectives, using describing words to try to define some of the characteristics that this thing shows and to get a deeper understanding of this thing and why this thing is how it is. So let's have a look at what this map looks like. Okay, let's get this up on the board and let's get started. Okay, so I've drawn our solo um, hot map here, our describe hot map, uh, up on our on our light board. Um, so we're just going to go through with an example using the example of uh, of Sunny Bill Williams to try to describe some of the characteristics of Sunny Bill um, and and show you how one really easy way to use the hot map. Okay, so if we were to put um, our our content, our thing, what we're looking at in the middle. Okay, like I said, it's um, Sunny Bill. So S B W. Okay, and then down in these boxes, that's where we start writing our characteristics of Sonny Bill Williams. So one of the characteristics of Sonny Bill um, is that he is 32 years old. Awesome. Uh, another characteristic for uh, Sonny Bill is that he was the youngest ever uh, player to get an NRL contract. Um, he was also one of the youngest Kiwi uh, internationals, so he played for the Kiwis at 19. Pretty good effort. Um, he has played um, Rugby Union and he moved to Rugby Union in the 2000. when everyone played in France. Um, he has played over 30 tests for the All Blacks. And he has owned quite a few heavyweight titles in boxing. All right, so there's just six characteristics of Sonny Bill. Um, obviously we could fill out a whole bunch more, I'm sure. Now we're gonna go through and fill out the because um, boxes off to the sides here, with these wee speech marks. Okay, this is where we figure out, you know, why these things have occurred, okay? So let's change our colour pen. Okay, so moving on to the because um, speech bubbles. Um, so these are the reasons why these things have occurred. Okay, so um, Sonny Bill is 32 years old. Why? Because he was born in 1985. Okay, uh, the youngest ever uh, NRL contract. Why? Uh, this is because he was signed at 17. Um, played for the Kiwis at 19, and the reason why he got to play for them was because he was really carving up in the NRL. So he played some really good footy for the Bulldogs. So we'll just say he was playing awesome. Um, in 2008, he moved over to Union, and the why, the because, is due to um, some a few contract issues, um, salary cap issues. Okay, so we can just write that in there: contract issues. Basically, they'd signed him up on a rookie's um, salary, even though he was pretty sharp, and they'd given him a long contract, and he um, felt like he was worth more than that. Um, over 30 tests for the ABs. Why? Because well, he's got a lot of X factor. He's got that um, offloading ability. Solid defender when he uses his arms, um, and he's owned multiple heavyweight boxing titles. Um, why? Um, the reason why he's owned them is because he actually had to give them up because of inactivity. And I mean, he's obviously a decent boxer. Cool, so we're sort of digging out deeper and going a little bit more into why Sonny Bill <coughs> is a, such a good athlete. And then down the bottom here, this is our extended abstract. Okay, so this is when we start taking this stuff coming up with an overall generalization about Sunny Bill. <coughs> so let's change our colors again. Change up to our yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so Sunny Bill, overall, we could probably say that Sunny Bill Williams is a phenomenal athlete. I'm just going to say amazing because I don't know how to spell phenomenal. 
So there's our statement. And then I've got to back this up. I've got to justify it so I can pick anything on here. Because he has represented NZ <coughs> at multiple codes. And second justification and held world boxing titles. <coughs> so using that um, example Sunny Bill hopefully that has given you um, a few ideas as to how you can use that hot map you can chuck anything in the middle there it could be a name um, of a person it could be a place okay it could be an object it could be fruit it could be the top of tree okay it could be absolutely anything you want chuck it in the middle figure out the characteristics of it figure out why those characteristics exist okay and then you can come up with that overall broad statement to finish Okay, and then as we move from the middle out, we start moving up the different levels of solo taxonomy. Awesome. Thanks. See you all.